So my first question for my panelists is from your perspective, what are shipping, ship management, and crewing companies currently doing to ensure the ability of their seafarers to safely fulfill the responsibilities on board vessels? And Oscar, I'll ask you first to answer, please. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Well, uh, I had the chance, the opportunity to work all the parties during my career. And I, I can say that there are lots of types of uh, training that is given, and the implementations are really differing. Starting from using a, a printer as a training department, and also a state-of-art training center. So I can just tell uh, what should be done in my perspective uh, in the ideal way. First of all, the companies need to set the KPIs and competencies for seafarers, and it needs to be assessed by proper assessment tools like maritime English, competence assessments, personality, aptitude tests, and also pronunciation can be measured. Now, online tools can be used, and the proctoring systems are working very well. And if the scores are good, then the, all the checks and references should be done, and uh, especially for the officers, a detailed interview process is undergone. And after the training need analysis is made and the employee is approved, he needs to go and complete onboarding training. And during this onboarding training, company orientation trainings is very important. You need to give the culture of the company, transfer the culture of the company, and also a, an employee value proposition is important there, to feel these guys valuable and to, to increase the feeling of belonging, really. SMS training and safety and life on board training, CBT and simulator trainings especially, they are uh, just uh, regarding the uh, industry and company requirements, they need to be completed also. And type-specific equipment trainings, like ECTIS, like uh, ballast water treatment system. Now they are coming more, hatch cover trainings. And when they go on board, there are also planned trainings that should be completed, both individually and as group. Group trainings should be classroom trainings, uh, VR-based trainings can be done. 3D reflective learning videos can be watched. Uh, learning engagement tools and resilience trainings can be done. Soft skill trainings and mental trainings. And these all need to be managed and analyzed by training managers. They need to analyze the training needs, get it from the feedbacks from these trainings, performance appraisals, accidents, incidents, and upcoming and emerging requirements. So they need to update their plan for individually and the fleet base. And last but not least, also, there needs to be organized company-run seminars to get people together, to team up, to learn from each other and from the industry, and socialize. Yeah. Thank you.